We made it. Hey. What's that? Car rental. Just rented a car. So it was easy, quick but and convenient. No, it was not quick and convenient. Hertz, uh, zero stars, Yelp review. They're getting a zero oh, star. That's fine though, we don't why, let that bother us. Why do you us. rent a car? You have a Tesla. I rented a car because we are in the great state of North Carolina. And Ian's here. Hey, Ian is here, and Dale's here. Get a Dale, there you go. Hi. Hey, Hi, sir. Hi, Matt. fan favorite. You know, minivans look more like muscular than I remember. Like, <laughs> it's not what I drove around when I was a kid. This looks pretty cool. We need to rent more cars. This is great. <laughs> it's so like nice. A luxury minivan. Dude, this you need is to upgrade, so awesome. You need to upgrade your van. Ooh, it smells like there's a. Someone smoked cigarettes in here, though. It's a cool mom. It's a yeah. cool mom. <laughs> <laughs> Today. Today. We're going to Sifla to look at flatline finishing. And then to follow it up, you're going to be excited about this. Mm. We're going to a company called Superficie. Mm. And Superficie. Also, flatline finishing. Wow, two, two over two days. Well, you got you, you got pace pace yourself. Yeah, the, I can't have yeah, all that, that excitement in one day. Too much excitement for one day. Yeah. After looking at all that wonderful woodworking equipment, we will be heading down to World Timber Corp, which is our lumber dealer. Lumber. Yeah, you guys get to and he's gonna going and actually do the fun part of the trip. And the thing is, he's gonna buy us dinner because Whoa. we spend hundreds of thousands of dollars with this company every year. So that means it's the least he can do. It's gonna get me some chicken fingers. So. <laughs> There it is. Wow, Chefla. Is this where they do the, I think they do the manufacturing here. Is this where they build the machines too? I doubt it. Ooh, what do you think? Ian, do they know that you're bringing a warm life camera? They, do they know you're rolling hot? No. Okay. I don't God. think so. Nice. God damn. That's all right, you can get another segment of you sitting in the parking lot for like six hours. Yeah, everyone loved it. <laughs> I thought it was so great. So did I. <laughs> oh, very spooky. Tap here to check in. Oh, okay, cool. We can do that trap. Let's check in. Let's do it. Here's our oh, guy coming right now. Doug, right? Yep, I'm done. It's been a while. How's it going? Yep. Hey, How's it going, Dale? What's going on, Josh? Sorry, I'm Josh. Matt. Matt, nice to meet you. Hey, what's up? Sorry. Trying to check in. Yep. If you guys can uh, hold tables for a second. Yeah, sure. 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 Yeah, I mean, the idea is GM screen. This was sort of the why we thought we might need this. It's yeah. like, we make a lot of these. So, MGT parts, we're gonna try some of these. Got some assembled rails and not assembled. All the way through our smaller accessories, cup holders, even down to the RPG tracker, like little tiny stuff. That's tiny. It's real small. With the spraying and the reciprocating action, how much movement, like it might get blown around. Yeah. You know? So that's what I wanna learn about the small pieces. The big pieces, I want to learn, like these are kind of funky shaped. Yeah. So it's just going to lay here and this thing's going to go back and forth. Can it actually get like here? Can it get here? Can it handle the geometry? Yeah. And I don't know. They're going to tell us. We'll find out. Doug? Hi, Paul. Doug, don't worry. How's it going, Paul? Paul? Nice to meet you. What's this one? Can I, can I ask just random questions? What's this thing? What's this machine? This is like an in-between, like a scuffing no. unit. So you have a single head roll quarter with a doctor roller, right? On the infeed side, you got a little bit of just scuff sanding and stuff like that, right? With an air knife. Air knife takes all the dust off it. Roll coater will apply so it doesn't oh, spray. Oh, it's not a sprayer. Yeah, it's it's like rolling a, like a paint Like you're doing your walls. Wait a minute. This you doesn't look. On that? Yeah, you, you on that. But it looks like it's not like it's like hard and rubbery. Yeah. So the way it works is you pump out of a bucket to the trough. The application roller touches the board and it's counter rotating. So it pushes the coating down onto the board. Now you could do poly, you yep. could do oil, yep. you could do UV oil. Water. And then I'm assuming you can like adjust the height to adjust the thickness of the coating. You can adjust the thickness of the coating a couple of ways by pressure, by the viscosity of the, or the durometer right. of the roller. Typically you're applying a half to no more than a mil at a time. Everything in finishing, they talk in mils. You have to understand, I know very little. <laughs> <laughs> what is a mil? It's a thousandth of an inch. A thousandth of an inch. There we go. Okay, so a mil is Basically a thousandth, a thousandth of, an of an inch. Okay, the more you know. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. This system over here, which is the one that we're, pretend we're in the market for, yes. this is curing the finish with heat and wind. Yes. Right? Just airflow and heat. Yeah. Oh, yes. What's it? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, you can correct me. I'll say yes. <laughs> and this one does UV. Can you get those that do UV? Sure. Okay. What is the advantage or disadvantage of UV finishes versus, I don't know, conventional finishes? So UV finishes tend to be a little bit more durable. If you spray a UV coating and you do not have a UV light, 
will it eventually just dry or it'll just never oh, cure? Not inside it won't. It no, you gotta put it out in the sun, it'll dry. Oh, oh natural. Natural it's UV. Natural UV. All right, let's, let's go look at the one we're actually gonna buy. What we're looking at is the newest uh, evolution of the Prima, which is the Prima Peak. With the air system that's in the machine, this radial air system, nobody else has got it. And the reason for it is you're looking for a dust-free part that has the most coating on it you can get out of a spray gun on the part and not all over the machine. It's meant to take room air through the filter box on the back side of the machine, bring it into the top of the machine. There's fans in the top of the machine that separate the air or spread the air out over this radial area for maximum efficiency of push, push the air and the paint to the part. Mm. So it just like helps focus it Right. Big question I have looking at this machine, and I think they're all like this, or a bunch of them are like this. It runs on paper. You have like a giant roll of paper, and that roll of paper is like what you put the parts on, and it's the paper gets spread. What do you do with the paper? Throw it away. It rolls up over here. Can you reuse no. it? No. Come on. Why not? It's just <laughs> got a little finish on it. It's full of paint. So it probably sticks, it probably to, sticks itself. to itself. As it rolls up, it's like wet finish. Oh, it's oh, wet paint. paint. It's all glued together. Oh. That's a lot of paper. Oh, it's Look at this. That's science right there. <laughs> so the machine breaks. No one knows why. Yeah, that's really good. Success. That's really good. I thought they were going to go flying. Nope. I never had a doubt. I had 100% confidence that was going to work. Yeah. Is it warm? Is this just like a meat heat? I don't oh, yeah. See it's toasty. What? 150 degrees. Ooh. Do me, do me. You're uh, you're 75. Cool 75? Yeah. I'll take that. They're tuning in, kind of like adjusting coating thickness, time and temperature in the oven. Yeah. And another one's gonna come out and we're gonna see how much better it is. Okay. I have a high tolerance for boredom. <laughs> I'm bored stiff. Well, we're sitting here, it's like eight minutes to just even get one, well, when it's running full tilt, you put in a bajillion pieces and it's super fast and awesome. But when you're yeah. testing it and trying to figure this shit out, it's- it's set up, get this part out and then afterwards, if you guys are hungry, lunch is here. You guys are so smart, I will buy all the machines. They treated us right. None of that Subway bullshit. No. Turkey, cheese, club sandwich, steak and cheese. Steak and cheese. Let's let Dale go first. Dale is a- Turkey. Turkey and cheese. Turkey and cheese. Turkey and cheese. What's up? Um, I don't know what I want. I'm ham and a cheese. Sucker for Italian. And chocolate chip cookies. And potato chips. And and water. Bribery successful. I am going to advocate we buy from Cephalo. Jersey Mike's. We're not even gonna go to Super Fishy. I don't even give a fuck. Oh well, what do they have? Chipotle? This is how decisions are made. This is business. I actually think a lot of executives make decisions based on like the perks and stuff. Are they gonna get us Jersey Mike's like once a month? I don't know. Right. Right then in the contract maybe. Don't be negative about this. I'm enjoy, just, enjoy the Jersey Mike's. I'm gonna Mike's. enjoy it. I'm okay. just saying. I'm a negotiator. You just take one sub and you're I done. am. I'm just a beggar. <laughs> the next day. Hey, how's it going? going? You guys brought the weather down with you? What? Yeah, right? Oh, it's so cold. Da, 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 da. It is cold. All right. So we're at Superfici. How do you pronounce it? Superfici? Yeah. Super Superfici. Fici? Fici? Not Fici? Nope. Right. Are you recording right now? Of course. Right now? Of yeah. course. <laughs> always. <laughs> Doug's always on. Hi, Mom. Now for the, yeah. now for the so science. This is the, um, all the spray machines are located up there. We'll go through that. This is the high speed production model, the Magnum model. These run at Magnum. very. There it is. Magnum. Holy moly. No, you this could. looks very complicated. You know, it's a lab setting, right? Right, because so, a lot of people, what a lot of people are doing is they're doing stains. They're doing different types of top coats. They're doing different sheens. Like six right. colors of paint. Right. One layer of brown paint, then a layer of white paint, then you scuff it, and then so a top coat. So six colors of paint, you would have a stack here with six of these valves to pull from six different pumps, different colors. Yeah, I'm glad we're easy. We do one sheen, one type. Hey! This is Brett. Hey, how's it going? Brett uh, yeah. is the lab manager yeah. here at Superfici. Did you watch the worm life you were in? Oh, I'm in one? 
<laughs> How hot is it inside here? Right now it's 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Do you think you could survive going through this one? <laughs> Probably, yeah. This one, definitely not. Okay. How hot does that oven get? The panels themselves get up to 800 degrees. Okay, so that's like a, you're yeah. a turkey. You're in trouble. You're, you're, it's Thanksgiving. It's going to be cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, touch this. It's gross. Why? I don't know. I gotta ask. Well, I don't know what this is for. I'm dumb. What's this for? This goes inside the spray cap. So instead of having to scrub down the overspray that will build up over time, we put this on the walls every two weeks or once a month or whatever, depending on how much you spray. Yeah. You peel it off Rip and it you, off. you put the new stuff on. All right. Cool. Now we know. Yeah. I'll just get in there. Yeah. Just get some get some spray tan in the lines. The pale wormwooders yeah. from their, their northern climates in the winter can crawl in. Get a nice spray tan. We need a fork to crash it into the side of the It looks thick. Doesn't it look thick and milky? Real thick. It right? does, it looks milky. Why it does. does it look so milky? Uh it's the extra special sauce that makes it so good when it dries. <laughs> oh. Wormwood sauce. The special sauce. Wow, right. That is the slowest conveyor <laughs> I've <laughs> ever yes. seen. Oh, oh, it's moving. It is actually moving. It's moving. It what do you think? It's pretty nice. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, man. How's the finishing going? Slow. Boring. Yes. Lunch has arrived. I forget the name. Let's go check out the name. I forget the name of it. It was uh, it's a sand another sandwich shop. Jimmy John's sandwiches. Ooh. Yeah, it's Jimmy John's. I do remember it being good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I hope I'm gonna crack one. Ooh, I hope there's a turkey. Dale likes turkey. Number ten is a. No, no, no. Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, there's a cookie see. in there. There's a cookie in there. Ooh. Pickle edge. Okay. Pickle edge. I like pickles. Nice. I'm a pickle man. That is a roast beef. Roast beef? Roast beef. And the other one is, yeah. I think it's gonna be an Italian. Italiano. Italiano? Yeah, because it's an Italian company. So it's Italian, mm. Italian sandwiches. Yep. Oh, uh, that is jerky. That is jerky. <gasps> we don't need to make the decision yet. I'm gonna wait till I actually bite into that sandwich. Yep. But if it is a Jersey Mike's versus Jimmy John's. I mean, uh, just outright, this already looks like it might be a little bit better. That does have a better presentation. Yep. But we can't actually make a surface level decision. Oh, there's fruit cups in here. Are you serious? There's a fruit cup. We gotta see the final finish. This is actually the real question. So we had them do was, this is the same everything. This is the traditional heat and air oven. Yeah. This is the catalytic curing. Oh. They look. Identical. Uh, this one that feels this a little feels bit rougher. A little bit crispier. That's the gas oven. Gas oven. This is the hot air oven. That's just catalytic IR energy. So IR energy. Yep. Traditional science fiction. We got good options. Yeah. We got good options. So we so we went to a place yesterday. They had a pretty good lunch. Yeah. I can only judge these places by the lunches. And I think Super Fishy had a better lunch spread. Oh, yeah. Lunch was better here, barely. You know what it was? It was the pickle. The pickle. The pickle, the Jimmy John's pickle pushed me over the edge. If I was making the decision, I would go with Super Fishy based on the lunch pickle. I'm also not making this decision. It's Tail and Ian. What did you say? You notice the pickle too? It's a nice touch. Okay, that's how business gets done. How do I have a job? <laughs> how is this my job? Yeah, I spilled my espresso. Aren't you supposed to drink that in like one sip? It's very bitter. Little baby sip. I put sugar in it. Well, actually, I put like one of those fake creamers. Little creamer. And it is still, in your espresso. It is still like. <laughs> it's like really bitter. Like, I don't know. That was pretty good. <laughs> I like them. What you're supposed to do with this is you put it in with like a big thing of hot milk, froth it up, mm. you put like drizzle drazzles and cinnamon sparkles and like whipped cream. Cheddar. And, then, and then you put some ice in there. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay. The Italian tradition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.